Hey, it worked. Hey guys, he's getting the hang of this little remote thing. We had problems with it before, but here we are for the Q&A, the newest Q&A. Um, Emma's here. Emma? Hi. Jimison. Hello. And me. Why is there a goat on the table? That's a goat. Oh, oh, yes. I don't goat. remember that. You got a... She wasn't in here for the b unboxing of the uh, of traveling Joe, traveling Joe, and which will, will Cody be sent the goat that goes with Seth's to complete his gear. Not just any goat, a tactical goat. Tactical goat that is from uh, it's actually from Co Cody's storyline with Sarge and Seth, oh. and they found the goat made him a tactical goat. Okay. Because the bad guys were going to kill the goat, and ooh, did they make Seth mad? Seth's like you, no kill the goat, or I kill you. And he did. Oh, I have an idea for a video now. Okay, ready? Good. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with our questions and answers. So we're going to start off with one. Emma, you can join if you wish. If you don't want to partake in this question, that's fine. Robert Siri asks, which vintage vehicle would come back in an updated version if we, uh, or when we, yes, when get the better. call from Hasbro to take over the 12-inch line and rejuvenate it? Jameson. I'd have to go with one of my <coughs> favorites and one of the most versatile, the five-star Jeep. It's, it gets probably some of the best use because it's a Jeep; it can be used for anything. And it's always sort of the center of it. Right? Yeah, it's the center of all the vehicles. I'm, I'm going to jump into something that really could be like it's one of my favorite vintage vehicles. We've talked about it before. Uh, is it the, the pursuit craft? Yeah, I knew that's where you go. I just think you could do so much more with it now uh, to make it a little bit more, yeah, modern looking, you tactical. Almost, yeah, you can make like, it more like a, you can make it more like a seaplane or like an actual yeah, watercraft just, instead of. Yeah, still have the versatility of it, but make it a little meaner looking, perhaps. Yeah. Especially so. with today, because there's plenty more machines that serve the purposes like it does yeah. that you can use the reference. Yeah. So, okay, let's jump to some crazy questions. Emma, you can get on these. I forgot to read these to you. but I No, I asked him the other day, I mentioned. It. These are Adam questions, so you know they're going to be doozies. Adam's first question, what super villain would you be? Phoenix. Phoenix from the X-Men. Yes, when she was evil. When she Dark was Phoenix. Evil. I think it's technically called Dark I, I think she, Phoenix, either uh, way. It's still Phoenix. Well, there's Dark or not Dark. Sounds cooler, though. Yeah, super yeah Dark cool Phoenix is super cool. Super cool option either way. So, Jameson. I uh, probably have to go with Bullseye, because, I don't know, he's just, I love a marksman, mercenary nope. type person. Bullseye. He's so... He, he's cool. looking, Wait, I remember up, him. Never mind. Yeah, yeah he wears the him. cowl, and I think I he remember. really has a bullseye he on He does. I remember him yeah, now. Actually, I think Lego he, games. I think he's in a box right there, but probably I'm not trying to take him. All right, I, I debated back and forth on this one. It's hard for me to think think like a villain. So I, I thought back to a comic book, and I thought, you know who would be a good villain for me to be? Spider-Man's arch enemy, the Punisher. That's right. Going on a technicality. See, yeah. Spider-Man was against the Punisher. That made him a villain. Him. And they fought many times. I feel like he the did? vast majority of heroes that encounter Punisher are like, yeah, don't do that. I'm being a little tricky. I'm going to go with it, though. And if you guys want to call me out, call me out. Now we all love the Punisher. Well, wait. But then again. Loophole. Then again, even though he kills the bad guys sometimes, probably all the time, but it's because then when they go to jail, if they, if they can't escape and they can't continue to do bad things. Gotcha, you, she's saying so clearly See, for such a young See, lady. It just, it just depends, really. <laughs> so basically, you're saying he's doing the right thing. Yeah. Yes. All right, there you go. All right, uh, Adam's so next question. What superpower? So forget your. Okay, you're no longer a supervillain. What superpower would you like to have? Flight. But, like, wing flight, I mean. Winged flight. That'd be cool, like Angel or. Yeah. Falcon, but with Falcon. real wings, real yeah. wings. Yeah, more like Angel. I showed you Angel that day. We talked about yes. that. Yeah. So. You okay. Should... For me. Oh, his is. Yeah, mine's a clever one. That his is uh, gonna, gonna have to include math, probably. What? The ability to manipulate probability. <laughs> Let's think about it. If I can do that, then what's the chance of someone dropping a million dollars in front of me? Zero, probably. Pretty much zero. 
So I can then suddenly be like, yeah, you know what? The chance of that, 100% now. Boom. Million dollars. Drop right in front of me. I think that's more of a super villain. <laughs> yeah! Um... Hey. Oh, hey, it's his choice. Oh, what? Give it to him. Oh, man, I'm probably going to lose fight. Nah, 100% chance I win. <laughs> I guess <laughs> it's cheating. I guess it's, like it's clever. I it's like we, cheating. we got to give it to him. Um, so basically changing <laughs> the, the fate the, of something yeah, or pretty someone. pretty much changing the chances of something occurring. Uh, you know, this is, a, this is a tough one for me. <clears throat> Being somebody that only has super soldier serum and basically just heightened agility and, and, and power... <coughs> It'd be Overall nice to awesome. have like one of those Wolverine indestructible kind of things. But, Wolverine's But if I could only have awesome. one. If I could only have one. I gotta think. You gotta pick wisely. I here. gotta think that, and uh, you're probably gonna be surprised at what I say. I gotta think one of the best things that you could use to get around the, the world would be invisibility. I knew you were gonna say that. I knew it. I knew you were going to say that. Because you could just walk up behind a bad guy. Boom! I, knew, yeah. I don't you know how I knew you were going to say that. So, I'm going to go with that today. Invisibility. But, like, is it one of those invisibility where, like, like you're, you and your clothes, whatever you're interacting with, or is it, like, you know... You're oh, gonna no, be... it's everything. It's, yeah. So, like... Okay. No, I'm not, like... No. Yeah. Not like one of those dumb kind of things. No, so like I'm not going to be like a Donald Duck t-shirt walking around going, Oh, don't pay attention to me. There's nobody in this shirt. Being invisible would be fun to mess with people, too. Cause like, <coughs> you then just like put a sheet over yourself. Ooh. And then they pull it off. Okay, back to the questions. So, let's see. Uh, <coughs> so there was a whole discussion on uh, survival. In, in Bunker versus street house. So he had a follow-up question to that. How long would you survive... A day, a week, or a year. So, as a family, Emma, answer the question. Forever, because we have Daddle. Do you hear the little girl? Yep. Spot Forever, because we have the Daddle. Plus, now, we, we either have a treehouse or a Adam knows, because we grew up in that age of thinking the Russians were going to drop bombs at any minute. We watched Red Dawn. I, I spent, me and my buddies, every summer we spent in the woods, we had places in the woods where there was actually fighting positions dug for just that to happen. And when we grew up and realized, hey, the Russians never came, we were actually slightly disappointed. <laughs> so I've been a survivalist my whole life. We stockpile things. We're not preppers. We're not lunatics. I mean, not that preppers are lunatics. They're smart as heck. But we don't go full-blown crazy. But we've, you know, we, it's just we've got what we need. We're yeah. ready. And these kids, they... You know, they listen to too many, and, and they know that in an emergency situation, in a panic situation, listen to Daddle, because I stay calm. That's my current superpower, staying calm and getting through the situation. Good answer! Oh, speaking of you staying calm, remember that time the dog almost died, and Mama was freaking out, and we were all just like, oh my <clears> god, <throat> can you calm yeah. down? That's not helping. Mama doesn't have that super Oh, also... The time with the wasp at song, you weren't there, but I just sat there. Well, yeah, she she does not like wasp yeah. though, so that's she that's, literally that's, ran she, away. She, she does not have the calm. Yeah. All, right, all right, next one. Uh, I asked Jay this before; he really wasn't sure of it, although he kind of knew a little Wait, bit. Wait, did you even answer the question? Well, your answer you, you answer for all of us. Yeah. Okay. Um, he wanted to know: Do we know? He knows, but uh, where the term? Jeep came from. Now, I actually knew this because I used to be a Jeep owner. And if you're a Jeep owner, you're in the club. It's, uh, we're right there sort of like, and he knows because he's a Harley guy. You got your Harley guys, you got your Jeep people. They wave to each Jeep other. People. You you drive by somebody else in a Jeep and you give them the wave. Especially if you got your foot out the door because you got the doors off and you're like, what's up? Just like Harley guys. You know, you're driving down at Harley and you're like, hey, Harley guy. And that's just the thing. Little code. <clears throat> so I actually did, did know this. Now, so Jeep originally uh, as as a it was actually a truck. Yeah, first, yeah, it was a tr military truck. The the term was thrown around general purpose or government purpose. So GP, which people started pronouncing Jeep, Jeep, and that's how it became Jeep. And then people threw an acronym where it is uh, just enough essential parts, Jeep. It's kind of like the same That is thing. my understanding. That is what I've heard. That's what I believed and was told. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. I mean, that that would be... Uh, but Daryl, you're never wrong. Or at least you claim that. 
I mean, that'd be in line with how Why things... Why are you throwing that? I, I claim that. Can't you just be a sweet king of... Oh, yeah, come right on. Now. Can't you be because a yes you're man? Not. Christmas come. is coming. Just, you you want to rephrase you that? You thought the Mandalorian happened before the original trilogy of Star Wars. I didn't... Yes, you did! Oh, I said I oh, get confused. Drop it. I get confused. Sometimes just be a yes man. On the man. timeline. Yeah, sometimes be a yes, yes man like your dumb brother here. Hey, it's a lot easier. Yeah. It, but it's in line with Jeep, too. It's like, same thing with the uh, the Humvees, because it came from... Its acronym is H-M-M-W-V, so Humvee. So I believe that what I said about the Jeep, um, if I'm wrong, Adam, let me know. But I think that's it. I think I'm close. Anyways, Thanks. okay. Uh, Tom from Spider Monkey has a few questions. Now, his first question isn't such a question as a thought, I think. But he asked us a question. Uh, so I had my Pop Locks box up here. And I said that me and Jay had a little ramble back and forth about the Pop Locks box. And thought it'd be... F so Tom pointed out or asked, if you put locks on a Pop Locks box, is it officially now a Pop Locks box lock? So, I don't know if we're supposed to answer that? Yeah, uh, my, my answer to that is, what? But then Jay said, well, but wouldn't it then be a... Pop Locks Lock Box? So it's really, we could go around a lot on this. But, yeah, we could throw this um, around. It was a good observation, though, no, Tom. Very good. All right. Um, he asked also this. Now, this, this because we were a little behind on this because we had uh, the, a lot of things going on here. But um, So we had our hot water, water tank. Um, I said blew up. It didn't really blow up. It just... It just sound, but it sounds better saying blew up. Right. So he said, how will you explain the Joe room to the guy putting in the water tank? Well, I didn't really have to because this is a separate room. But if I brought him in here, because we kind of know the guy. He uh, did some work for us before. And he's a, he's a gun-toting kind of an American fella. Yeah, he's got his. He'd, same, probably, he'd, he'd probably understand like, having a nice slick. area for your hobby. He'd be like, "Man, your Joe's got more guns than me." So uh, we didn't really have to explain it, but that's how but he, he would have liked it. Basically, I summed it up as it'd be very long, very rambling. Yes. What's with you kids? You gotta get, get a shot after a while. All right. Uh, I didn't take a Jay shot. Jay and Emma, what was or is your favorite subject in school, Emma? Mine is art or music. Mar art or music for Emma. Mine is history, and it always has been. Mine was funny enough. My two favorites were history and art. Really? Yeah. But not art history. No one likes that. Nobody. That's why I said history and art. Because if I said art and history, people would say, "Oh, he's an art history." No, nobody. Make, nobody likes art history. Doesn't make sense to me. Um, now, Tom asked, and this was is with all due respect, Tom, because you're probably my favorite person on the planet because you're hysterically funny, and um, I think highly of your show. However, the next question for Emma, um, so after I ask her and she answers, I will have a follow-up question for you, uh, and that question will be, are you nuts asking that question? Okay, so his next question is, Emma, do you have a boyfriend yet? Absolutely not. I will never get a boyfriend until I'm at least 15, because that's how old I think you have to be to date. She's very wrong. It's actually 35, but... Um, that's not even... That's over half. Like, anyway, Tom, don't ask dumb questions. God. Holy Moses, he put it in her head. <laughs> They're nervous, some people. That's right, I'll forgive you. As long as you hurry up and get out that season two of the Super Show. All right, uh, so we do have two questions from Paul Knapp, but we're only going to ask one because we think one of his questions might be its own show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what we've decided. So, uh, it's perfect. And his second question is, when is the chicken wing going to get fixed so you can start doing army push-ups again? I wish I knew. I keep doing the work. I go to my physical therapy. I go back to the doctor. And they say, okay, looking good. Go back to physical therapy. We'll see you in six. Over and over and over. And, I mean, they said with the, the operations, could be up to a year. I'm hoping that's not the case, but... I'm miserable. Um, but that's what they're saying. And as far as Army push-ups, um, <clears throat> I don't think I've done those since the Army. I don't think anyone really I do exercise. Them. I do do stuff. But we do stuff like hiking and stuff like that. I don't ever really get down and... Like, I'm doing, uh, you know, stuff for physical therapy. Like, I start off with a one-pound weight. It's ridiculous. But anyways, but 
Paul, your second question, great question, and we will actually be doing that on its own separate video. Um, he said chicken wing. <laughs> yeah, chicken wing arm, yeah. Actually, one of my exercises is this. Watch. This, oh, there. God, yeah. no, this you already showed this me. This is called the chicken wing. I got to do this. I do it ten times and take a little break. And actually, today it's really tight, and that actually hurts. Usually, I can get up a little farther, but it's... it's that's, it's actually called the chicken wing. Anyway, uh, okay, we're getting close here. We're trying to go fast. How are we on time there, Jay? Should we cut this into three? Uh, we'll go fast. I think it's, I think we're good. So we got to have a quick, couple quick questions. Uh, Robert Rivera, uh, I'm going to buzz through a couple of his because first one he asked, what's the best cure for a sore throat? This was several weeks ago. I, I'm sorry we didn't get this in, uh quicker for you because I know at the time you had a sore throat you probably don't anymore um, but for me before I was married with kids it would have been whiskey with lemon juice so next time try that I thought you said honey huh I thought you said honey that sounds we were absolutely joking. disgusting no I'm, I'm although I, I, I probably tried it uh, whiskey and lemon juice works better very good or uh, it'll, just it'll clear it some salt water or a bottle of Jaeger but anyways, um, he, they, then he asked, uh, do you think a dragon will release a 1-6 scale Sherman tank again? I actually never knew they released that. I knew 21st Century had the Stuart, but I really did not know. So I'm going to look that up because I'm curious now. And if, if that's the case, then dragon I don't makes know. Cool stuff, but I, I, hope they be... do, I hope they do. That would be awesome. Um, uh, then he asked, if... If a company released a one six scale ski lift, would we buy it? Yes. Yes. Man, you know who would probably make one? I know who would probably make one. Pop, Pop Locks 4583. 45 uh, it's always just a setup for that. Uh, Cody, Robert Rivera needs a one six scale ski lift. He might be able to make some parts of it, maybe, maybe. not all of them. He's got it. He does slides and stuff. Um, all right, the next question he had, um, we'll go quick through this. He asked about his, uh, he's got a senior project. He's uh, in college uh, engineer uh, degree. He said, would you choose a 3D plane competition or a 3D stick man? Jameson. My first thought is the 3D plane because that sounds awesome. Now, I didn't ask you that one because. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm not very good at like 3D and all that computerized stuff, but I asked a well, lot. I said, I don't know what's the 3D stick man. And he explained to me the 3D stick man thing is actually a stick man, but he, they can put them through all these configurations and stuff. And what they, the purpose is for is they can use the stick man uh, programming to see if stunts are safe enough for stuntmen to do. So it gives them like <laughs> Sign me real up for that. And all that. I told you guys before, I tried to be a stuntman when I was young, and I idolized stuntmen, and uh, Hal Needham, Evil, Ken Evil, these guys, you know, but uh, Hollywood stuntman, I, that's what I wanted to be when I was young. So yeah, I take the stick man. Uh, sorry for rushing through that, Robert, but I know a couple of those were, you know, a little dated, especially the short throat. Hope you're doing better. Drop us a line. We're waiting on that uh, Aachen video yeah uh, Richard Brown's got a few for us and then we'll wrap it up um, Richard's first question is mostly for Jay and you can send us an email because you got our email and if uh, his question was how do you get a YouTube channel Jay can walk you through it yes yeah. yeah, I think it's, it's pretty fairly easy yeah if you don't like if you don't want to use like a current one that you use like you know commenting and liking stuff videos you just gotta make a new email sign up with YouTube and then usually they give you also a tutorial process as you do it as well especially with the like creator but studio if you need help with it uh yeah you drop him an email and he'll and help, help you you can ask me but then you'll just end up somehow corrupting your computer and and i don't you'll know, somehow turn it into a, you'll yeah, somehow to turn this day you barely know how to use your also, phone right? also also you had asked us about your the name for your channel, uh, what we thought. We're not going to read it because we don't want anybody to steal it, but I think it's a great name. It, it's and an awesome name, yeah. yeah. Don't say it out loud, but right here in number two, what do you think of that name for a Joe channel? Yeah? Pretty clever? Emma likes it too. We don't want to say it out loud because people will. They'll grab it up. So, uh, But yeah. Like, hey, that's great. Right. I'm gonna take um, next two and final questions. 
What did you think? I mean, you, did you see uh, the G.I. Joe movies? No. Okay. Che, what did you think of the G.I. Joe movies? I think they were oh, yeah. pretty good. He watched it with Shh. Cameron without you. Hold on. Let him answer his question. Yeah, I think they were pretty good. Yeah, both of them? Yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. All right, I'm going to answer that question. Um, so the first one I thought was okay. You know, I'm not an a raw guy, I'm, you know, adventure team guy. But, you know, it came out. you got to see it because it says G.I. Joe. And I watched it, and I thought, hey, this is pretty good. I, you know, I know the characters. I know Snake Eyes. I know Duke. I know... And then the second one came, ooh, second one, and there's, what, is, is that Bruce Willis? Of course I gotta see that. And I tried to get the boys to watch it with me, and they were always busy, but that's okay. I said, we'll get around to it, you let me know. And then one day I asked if they wanted to watch it, and they said, oh, we watched it without you. Revenge! We're gonna get revenge So on I've you. never seen the second one. But they, play, they play it on, like, cable TV all the time. Thanks for asking, Richard. Thanks for opening that wound. Um, we'll get revenge, Dallow. Anyway, <clears throat> all right, we're moving on. Uh, question, last question, Richard Brown's last question, the last question for the episode. How do you feel about Gung Ho Grip? Oh, great question. That's actually been a big thing with the AOA. I've actually been a huge proponent of uh, the Gung Ho Grip. Um, probably my second favorite besides Kung Fu Grip, and at times it's even better than that. Um, Jay digs. The yeah, gun, I like uh, it because it's just. You know, you get so now, much better. Where do we have a guy? Yeah. yeah. Actually, Traveling yeah. Joe himself. Traveling Joe has, this is vintage body, but with gung-ho uh, grip on there. I'm not going to try and pick him up and hold it up. It's the one that has um, these fingers and this finger are on like a peg. So they, you can like move them separately like that. Uh, actually, coolest thing, I've, a few times I've actually taken and like, Carefully cut around the other fingers. Yeah, Jay will so actually they move cut in in between each finger, so they actually will move independent of each other. You just have to be very careful. Usually, um, I leave the you like, just pinky alone. An exacto knife. Yeah, it's using exacto knife. Yeah, you just kind of cut slice, around the little yeah. peg thing. So, but yeah, we love uh, gung ho grips, and uh, especially the one actually uh, actually kind of turned Adam on to him. He's Adam's almost strictly. Uh, vintage and Cotswold. He loves the uh, the whole beginnings. Um, but then uh, I under kind of talked about Gung Ho uh, grips one time, and me and him got talking. He was, he started retrofitting some of his Joes with them because he loves them so much. Um, so I think most of the guys dig them though. But yeah. But that was a good question. Wait, what? I have a question. Yes. So, um, are we gonna do a episode in our um, costumes for Halloween? Uh, we might do that. Yeah, we, we're trying to narrow down some co Halloween costumes this year. Um, and if we do, we'll, yeah, we'll show them off. That'd be cool. That'd be a good idea. I'll have to wear a mask. Uh, we're going to jump off here. We'll, uh, we'll keep oh. you updated on Emma's uh, thought. And then uh, just real quick shout outs to uh, the Toy Boy, of course, and Lockdown Productions. I hope you guys are doing well. Action Man. Um, <laughs> not to be confused with Johnny Depp's favorite slogan. Aquaman. Uh, also, want to shout out Greg Cook, Toy Hunter. He actually just subscribed to me. I watch his stuff all the time. He, he well, jump over and check him out, uh, Greg it's, Cook. Yeah, really. And cool. And then also, Open by Chance. I've talked about before, but he just solved a huge mystery for me and Tom from Spider Monkey. And he he was gonna he's gonna look into it further to see what else information he has. Um, and I'll talk more about that Wait, next time. speaking of mystery, have we ever solved the question for the answer 42? No, Lockdown Productions. We never figured out that uh, the question that goes with your answer 42. Like so, so throw that at us. And now we're going to get off here before uh, Emma starts rambling incessantly. Until the next one. As she often does.